It's estimated that half of the people living in Iceland believe in elves. These elves, as described by witnesses, are humanoid creatures that come in a variety of different lengths and forms. There are elves as small as a couple of inches to elves of full human size, who are called hidden people. Stories of elves have been passed on generation to generation. Stories of elves helping people and even a few stories of elves that oppose to humans. More often than not, when construction starts near a place where elves are supposed to live, weird accidents happen. From workers all suddenly getting sick to lightning bolts striking the construction area. Even politicians are told to take the elves very seriously. But the question remains. Why do people believe in elves? I went to interview Magnus Kafedensen, headmaster of the Elf School of Reykjavik and co-founder of the Paranormal Foundation in Iceland. My name is Magnus Kartmeson. I'm a strange person. I'm the headmaster of the Elf School. Elves are very special things in Iceland. Uh, this is the only country we know of that the majority of the nation believe that elves to exist. 54% of Icelanders believe that elves to exist. This is normally 1 or 2 or 3% in most other Western countries. I met more than 900 Icelanders and 500 foreigners from 40 countries. The only thing these 1400 witnesses have in common is they are psychic. They have the sixth sense. They have psychic ability, more or less. All humans are a little psychic. Some are more psychic than others. Some are much more psychic than others. It's estimated that one of 30, one of 50 persons can see elves once in a while. Those who are little psychic, more than little more than average. It's estimated that one of two or three hundred or even five hundred can see them and hear them and talk with them and communicate with them. It is estimated one of five thousand has that strong psychic ability, sixth sense that it can be in their dimension and visit them. Elves and Hindu people normally build their houses in Iceland where we have big rocks and big stones and big cliffs. Uh, the mass, the bigger the cliff, the better. They have told my witnesses that they build their houses normally where we have cliffs and stones and rocks because it's much more stable energy. They always claim when humans meet them, when humans ask them, who are you? Are you people from the past or are you people from the future? No, 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 no. We're just people here and now. We are what you call elves or hidden people. But we aren't hidden. You are our hidden people. That's what they normally tell humans. Uh, all the arguments that we have for the existence of elves are so overwhelming. If you would go downtown and ask Icelanders on the street, do you believe in elves? And since 54% of Icelanders believe in elves, every other would say yes and every other would say no. Yes, no, yes, no. Yes, of course, no, of course not. If you would ask those who said yes, why do you believe in elves? Because my mother told me, my father told me, uncle, niece, nephew, aunt, good friend, Somebody that I know personally have had a personal encounter with them. That's why you believe in them. Elves and hidden people. Icelanders never say, do you believe in elves? They always say, do you believe in elves and hidden people? There is a difference. Uh, according to our witnesses, we have heard descriptions of 16 or 17 or 18 type of elves. The smallest of them is flower elf. They are two or three centimeters very small, their wings, 
very joyful beings. Um, we have two or three types of flower elves, three or four types of tree elves. They are bigger. Seven, eight types of nature elves. They are from 25 centimeters to 50 or 60 centimeters. The biggest of these smaller elves is house elves, Boo Aulwar. They are from 50 centimeters, 40 to 50 centimeters to 80 or 90 centimeters. And then we have the hidden people, which is totally human sized, human body, human culture human clothes, human language, human lingual language. And they are probably closest to us in dimension because we see them more often than the other elves. That is what has made this uh, friendship so valuable that hidden people are so close to us and have had such a big a lot of friendship with us. I can sit here and claim having been talked with these 1,400 witnesses that have seen elves and hidden people, I can claim that hidden people and elves have saved hundreds of lives in Iceland, probably thousands of lives here through centuries. I know quite a few Icelanders that are still alive because of the elves, people that were lost in the wild, in the desert, in the middle of the Iceland, middle of winter. They were hosted by elves and hidden people people that were guided out of danger, sometimes starring people that was given food by hidden people and elves. This friendship has been mutual. Humans help hidden people a lot. Hidden people help humans a lot. You have to be psychic by the hidden people to see humans, but there's much higher percentage there of psychic ability than we have. So why believe in elves? The people of Iceland do because they have so many sightings and witnesses each year. People mainly believe because they know witness they trust or because they've had an encounter themselves. Still, a lot of people doubt the existence of the elves. But if you think about it, it isn't that far-fetched. People believe in God, that houses can be haunted and that life beyond earth exists. So. Why not believe in elves? Not even 300 years ago before the Enlightenment, almost everyone believed in some form of mythology, from believing in God to believing in ghosts and witches. But with the Enlightenment, which would break people free from the rules of the church, most forms of mythology were labeled fairy tales. Because Iceland is such an isolated island, the Enlightenment didn't arrive until the 20th century. Now that the Enlightenment is there, the Elves are slowly disappearing. There's no doubt in my mind that there will come a generation in the future, one century or two or three, that will restore this friendship. But in the meanwhile, to me it's like, yes, we can live in black and white world, but coloured world is much better. I like color TVs better than black and white TVs. You can manage with black and white TVs, but the color TV is much more interesting. 